Hey there and welcome back to Dakota News Now. It is now time for another edition of Owning Your Outdoors and joining me as always is Doug Schroeder from Lewis and uh, Doug, it's been a little on the dry side lately, right? It has. It has. Uh, for the last about four years, we've had very dry summers and uh, um, we're driving around the area. I see a lot of trees that are just starting to show a little signs of failing. Um, we have uh, a lot of trees going into the winter that are kind of weak in our area. So what are some signs of uh, drought caused damage to trees? Uh, you can start watching uh, your trees. Sometimes it takes a couple years for the true symptoms to start coming out. But what you'll see is leaf scorch during a really hot summer. Uh, uh, canopy dieback is another thing you see. You may see some splitting to the bark and the wood. Um, just overall just starting to fail. But you said it may take a little while before those symptoms show. It does. It's not an automatic thing. Uh, it compounds every year. If you have dry years, it gets worse. All right, so what are some problems that the drought can cause when it comes to the trees? Well, this year especially, I'm really worried about trees going into uh, the fall dry. Uh, that means they're at a weakened state, and for them to actually uh, uh, leaf out again next year is going to be a struggle for them. So uh, with the dry conditions, do the, are the roots affected? Does it impact the way it gets water? Yes, uh, the roots are um, weakened, so they are not drawing the nutrients. They're not drawing the water uh, to give them the power to uh, relief out in the wintertime. Then you add on, we start throwing de-icing salts on some of these trees that are in the um, boulevards, and they're just not strong enough to take some of the chemicals we're throwing out. So does that mean that the trees are more susceptible to the disease? They are more susceptible to disease. Um, the weaker they are, the more, and insects. Uh, insects thrive on weak trees, and um, it uh, might, the drought might not be what killed them, but a disease or insects could be the final straw. So what are some of the things that we can do to prevent that? Um, first of all, don't let your trees go into the fall completely dry. I recommend a slow drenching uh, watering. Uh, just let it soak in nicely and uh, let the trees have some moisture going in the fall. Uh, other things you can do is when you're picking out a tree, everybody loves to pick out trees that are pretty. Uh, you know, some of your birch and um, uh, some of your ornamental trees. The problem is, they may be zoned for us, but we get a lot le less moisture than these trees are used to. So um, I'll look at somebody that planted a birch, for instance, on the south or the west side, knowing that tree is not going to have a good opportunity to survive. So if I'm going to plant a new tree, pretty good idea to put some mulch around it, keep some of that moisture in? Yes, mulch them good. Um, I recommend picking out trees that are native to our area too. Um, trees that are native to South Dakota, Iowa, Minnesota, these are trees that have survived centuries and are used to our prairie weather that we have throughout years. All right, Doug, any other tips for us to do this time of year? Nope, uh, just uh, I, I think everybody's seen how their trees are doing throughout the summer. Now is the time to take care of it and give them a chance to uh, recover this next year. All right, Doug, thank you for all those tips. We're gonna have all this information online at dakotanewsnow.com right after the show, but make sure you stick around. We have FastCast coming up next.